Oh my, this isn't set up for me, is it? <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Joanne Graffo. I'm the Executive Director of the Missouri Southern Foundation and Vice President for Development here at Missouri Southern State University. I tell you, what a pleasure to look around and see all these faces here. Are so many friends that we have uh, on campus and in the community and our legislators as well. Uh, we're joined today by Representative Flanagan. I saw somewhere where did he go? Way back there, Representative Flanagan, thank you for coming today. We also have some former uh, representatives here today. We have uh, former Representative um, Gary Burton is here, right over here, who's also involved now with images and tiles, so we'll get to that. And former Senator Gary Nodler, who's here as well, so thank you. But it's a comfort to me as an alum and a staff member here to, to look out and see all these these faces of people that we know and that we love and that support us here. So we're here today, as you know, to dedicate our newly completed Lantern Society donor wall. And after much planning and preparation and many hours of installation, that was supposed to have stopped. So <laughs> technology's great when it works, right? So but this has been uh, a labor of love for quite some time now. Uh, many of you may recall that before this building was renovated, there was a curved staircase. And I've seen some former students, yep, uh, some alumni say, yep, there was, a, there was a curved staircase that went up and we had the donor wall that went up that was a beautiful spot for it. And when we had, we were so fortunate enough to have donors help us create this space, um, that space went away. And so we were struggling trying to figure out what to do and, and where to put it and how to do that. And so we spent quite a bit of time uh, making a decision before we came to this. Um, we had many who worked on the project. Mike Fontana, you may recall, was a staff member for us that started leading that charge and working with it a number of years ago. Mike has moved on to another position close to his home in Arkansas, so we miss him, but we thank him for his work. We also had a, uh, a committee of our Foundation Board of Directors members who helped us with that, and I would like them to step forward so we can say a quick thank you to them, and those include Nancy Good, I think Nancy's back there. Come on up, Nancy. And Anna Ruth Crampton Mosbaugh. Oh, they're going to be shy. <laughs> Dr. Steve Walstead. And Raymond Becca Brock Davis also helped. And Raymond has since moved to Florida, and so she's not with us here, but I know she's here in spirit. So thank you to these board members for all the work that you did. So. minds in this group that really helped with uh, brainstorming on what we wanted to do and some ideas. And we also have had Dolores Honey. Dolores, if you'd raise your hand, uh, who's been instrumental in helping with this. Uh, we cannot thank enough Bob Harrington, uh, Director of Facilities of Physical Plant here at the University, as well as his team members. I see some of them back there, Jack Barry, other guys are back there that really helped because, you know, this is not an easy thing. It sounds like an easy thing, but they're always those last minute, oh gosh, we thought it was going to adhere to this and it doesn't. So now what do we do? Plan B. And so they really made it happen and we appreciate that. As well as Al Stadler and his team who made this happen because that was one of the ideas as we got talking about, you know, how can we make this more than, than static names on a wall? What we, can we do to show successes and show some of the things that are happening? And so the TV became part of that. Um, images and tile. Uh, Images and Tile has been a great partner in this, and they really helped make this happen, and I'd like them to step forward, please. And we have with us today Sam Sturgis, who's the president of Images and Tile, and he is a 2006 Missouri Southern graduate, so we're proud to have some alums with us. He was a marketing and management major while he was here. John White, who's a graphic designer, is a 2008 graduate of Missouri Southern, who also majored in marketing here. Chris Aukerman, Senior Art Director, did a great job on this as well, as did uh, Lee, Lee, uh, excuse me, Lee Amy, who is the, um, <coughs> who's the print technician and customer service representative, and Shaylee Brown, who's a social media marketing major and a current student at Missouri Southern, right? So there's a team from Images and Tile that, that helped put this yeah. together, so yes. <laughs> I would be remiss without also thanking Brett Lyrela with University Relations and Marketing. Brett also helped with the design of this wall and was one of, another one of the creative uh, um, pieces behind it. So thank you, Brett, for your work. Now, I would like to bring up Sam Sturgis to say a few words uh, about Images and Tiles' uh, participation in this. Sam? Thank you. Hi. I kind of thought about what I was going to say today, and I, I'm pretty much going to reiterate most of the stuff that she had said. Uh, you know, this project, ha it came about all oh, about a year and a half ago or so. Uh, 
I was at a, a fundraiser and uh, Mike Fontana came up to me and said, hey, I've, I've got a need at Missouri Southern and I wanted to know if Images and Tile wanted to be a part of it. I think he was trying to pull out my heartstrings a little bit because he knew I was an alumni. And uh, he said, you know, we don't have a whole lot of money, but you know, we definitely want to do something. We want to dress up something um, you know, with, with our, our uh, donors here. And we started talking about, you know, how the donors were actually being displayed before and I said yeah I can remember they're in the stairwell you know as you were talking about and he said no we've already done away with that but we're still we're still in need of something that's going to dress up the place you know it just really doesn't fit with the environment what we've done up here in the ballroom area and so we Chris and I and John uh, came up here and kind of looked at the space looked to see see how it was and he's you know kind of chuckled a little bit and said you can see that we're in need of something different so um, at that point in time, a uh, little time had passed and he had introduced us to Joanne and to Dolores. So I'd like to thank you all for allowing us to be a part of this project and, and, and making it possible here for the university. So um, I've had the opportunity at, at eight years now to be at Images and Tile and to work on a lot of projects across the world. Um, you know, I've been to Dubai, I've been to New Zealand, I've been to Australia. Uh, and I've seen a lot of amazing places, uh, but Joplin's always been home to me. And so to have an opportunity to give back to my university, um, you know, it, it holds a special place in my heart, you know. So uh, I'm just glad that we had the opportunity to do that. And uh, I'd like to thank my team again, uh, Chris Ackerman, John White, Leah and Shaley, as well as Gary Burton um, for allowing Images and Tile to be prosperous here in Joplin, Missouri and being part of this community and giving back to my university. So, so thank you. You should also know that when this wall is updated next, um, because it is based on fiscal year, and, um, that when it's updated next, images and tiles are going to be on this wall. And they're going to be on this wall because they made a significant, generous contribution in terms of reducing the price. Because he was right when Mike said, we don't have a lot of money for this. Uh, this is worth a lot more than what we paid for it, and that was thanks to uh, images and tile and their contribution towards it. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'd now like to bring up Mike Pence, who's the president of the Missouri Southern Foundation. Mike. Thank you very much, <clears throat> Joanne. You'll have to excuse me if I talk too loud for some of you. I'm hard of hearing, and uh, I need to do that so I understand fully what I'm saying. <laughs> On behalf of the board of directors of the foundation, from the very bottom of our collective hearts, we say thank you, thank you, thank you to the donors, to you donors standing right here now, and to all the donors behind me. We could not run this university without you. As state funding shrinks, as tuition rates are capped, it's you donors who are gonna fill that gap. We need you, we love you, God bless you and thank you. Now, there are two giving societies represented on the wall here behind me. The first is the Lantern Society. Uh, membership in this society is based on cumulative giving over time. And it's broken into two broad categories, individuals, yeah, and organizations. Within these categories, they are also broken into levels of giving, as you can see. You will see the names change annually as consistent, long-time, repetitive donors continue to increase their investment in this great university. These panels were designed so that they can be changed once a year. And uh, we want to see each one of you do what the Jeffersons did for years, moving on up, okay? We want you moving on up. So, <clears throat> we can't do what we do here for the students without this wall behind me. It's impossible. You will also see a plaque for Legacy Society. The Legacy Society, this is donors who have made a planned gift they have chosen to leave a legacy through means such as remembering 
uh, us in their wills and in their life insurance policies. In addition to the names on the wall, you will notice the TV monitor in the center. After today's event, this will show a series of photos and videos about some of the wonderful gifts our donors have provided. This too will be refreshed over time. As I said earlier, uh, the donors, you folks, and all the wonderful people behind me provide countless opportunities for our students, and we can't thank you enough. Please join me in a round of applause for yourself, okay? Thank you, Mike. And we'd like to bring one last speaker up today, and that is Dr. Alan Marble, our president of Missouri Southern State University. Thanks, Joanne. I, was, I thought for a second when uh, I heard, um, I guess, was, um, Mike presented this, and we don't have much money to spend. Um, a lot of discussions start that way around here, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mike is right. Um, we do appreciate donors and the remarkable difference that um, you make every day. It's really impossible to, um, to overstate the impact that you have on our campus and on students and the lives that they lead. Uh, but I want to take a moment just to draw your attention to uh, a few examples of the difference that you make and that our donors make for us. And you know, without donors, we wouldn't have the Wilcoxon Health Center where faculty and staff and students can uh, receive um, much needed health services throughout the year. You know, without donors, we wouldn't have a Macintosh lab in our School of Education so that our teachers could prepare on the um, equipment that they'll use to, to teach the next generation of leaders. Without donors, we wouldn't have the Ralph Gray Alumni Center, uh, Plaster School of Business, Leggett and Platt Athletic Center, Bindeck Recreation Center, Corley Dental Hygiene Clinic, and a list of facilities just really too long to, um, to name. Without donors, we wouldn't have a significant um, collection of African art uh, that you probably read about recently in the um, newspaper, a collection that, um, that we're very proud of and that we're gonna be uh, uh, here for years. Without donors, we wouldn't have a new baseball stadium and a new uh, football field house that are now under construction uh, over in the um, athletic area. And in fact, uh, stay tuned. Uh, you'll be hearing much more about some uh, very large donations, six and seven figure uh, level donations uh, to those um, projects in the next couple of weeks. So um, donors just keep coming in. Mike, they keep moving on up. <laughs> you know, and it's vitally important that we don't overlook um, what donors do in the, in the way of scholarships. You have, over the last few years, we've been able to award over seven and a half million dollars in private scholarships that you've provided for students who go on to um, lead lives of upward mobility. So you, you should be very, very proud of that. Donors do make a difference, um, make an enormous difference. And we're very grateful to every one of you. Just like to say thank you for what you've done in the past. Thank you for what you're gonna continue to do to help Missouri Southern be the best we can be. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Marble. And I just want to bring it to close to reiterate what they've said, which is thank you. You know, because I look and, you know, many of you are, are on this wall or you know people that are on this wall, and we so value you and appreciate you because we can look around at, at students like, where did she go? Our intern whose image is in tile now, you know, students like that that benefit from what you're doing and that make it possible for them to go and achieve their dreams and to, to serve as interns and then probably move into, into paying jobs. So we hope you, uh, we hope you enjoy it because we're here for you. And this will be updated again in the fall. It is a continuing process, as he said, and so we look forward to continuing to have opportunities to say thank you and please let your friends and neighbors know they can come out and take a look. Please enjoy us. We have a few refreshments over here, so visit and enjoy those, and thank you for coming today. Yeah.